हेलो बच्चों कैसे हो होप एवरीथिंग इज फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट मस्ती के साथ साथ पढ़ाई भी करते होंगे वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल विथ थलम एकेडमी व्हिच इज़ एन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म माई सेल्फ भावेश पटेल आज हम लोग रोमन न्यूमरिकल्स के बारे में बात करेंगे इन पार्ट वन इस वीडियो में हम रोमन सिम्बल्स को समझेंगे बेसिक रूल्स क्या है टू राइट एनी रोमन न्यूमरल्स एंड कैसे लिखते हैं एंड ऑल्सो रोमन न्यूमरल्स अगर लिखा है तो वो कौन सा नंबर है ये सब इस वीडियो के थ्रू वी विल अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द रोमन न्यूमरल्स आज की तारीख में इसका क्या कहाँ पे एप्लीकेशन होता है तो फॉर लेबलिंग द नेम और पोजिशन ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एनी पर्सन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आसी के मीन फर्स्ट इन क्लास हियर आई दैट डिनोट्स फर्स्ट क्लास फर्स्ट टू क्लास टेंथ हैव टेस्ट टूडे आई इज अ फर्स्ट दैट इज वन एंड एक्स दैट इज टेंथ उसी तरह प्रिंस चार्ल्स वन टू थ्री सो प्रिंस चार्ल्स थर्ड देर आर थ्री आईज मैनी टाइम्स यू विल सी रोमन नंबर्स इन द क्लॉक मार्किंग ऑफ आवर्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड बैकग्राउंड आज तक जो सिस्टम नंबर सिस्टम हमने देखा है वो है इंडो अरेबिक नंबर सिस्टम एंड दिस इंडो अरेबिक नंबर सिस्टम हैज बेसिकली टेन बेसिक डिजिट्स दैट इज जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन ऑल द नंबर्स इन दिस सिस्टम आर मेड बाई कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस टेन डिजिट्स जबकि रोमन न्यूमरल्स दैट केम फ्रॉम द लेटिन लैंग्वेज विच वेर यूज प्रायर टू दिस इंडो अरेबिक नंबर सिस्टम एंड दैट वेर दैट सिस्टम वॉज यूज बाय एंशन रोमन्स इन दिस सिस्टम द बेजिक सिम्बोल्स एंड रूल्स आर यूज फॉर मेकिंग द नंबर एंड इट इज लिटल बिट डिफरेंट दैर इज अ स्पेशल वे ऑफ राइटिंग द नंबर First, we have to understand the Roman symbols. Basically, there are seven basic Roman symbols. I, that is equivalence in Indo-Arabic, it is one. V, that is five. X, that is ten. L equals to fifty. C equals to hundred. D equals to five hundred, and M equals to थाउजेंड सो ये सेवन बेसिक रोमन सिंबल्स है अगर आप लेफ्ट से राइट right जाएंगे तो यू कैन सी इट्स अ स्मॉलर टू लार्जर नंबर सो आई इज अ स्मॉलर वन देन द वी एंड सेम वे एम इज द लार्जेस्ट वन अगर लेफ्ट टू राइट गए तो उसी तरह अगर राइट टू लेफ्ट गए दैट इज एम टू आई इट इज लार्जर टू स्मॉलर so bachcho you have to remember this seven digits seven symbols having some value in indo arabic number system as well as depending upon the value which one is larger and which one is smaller that's what we have to remember now let's understand special features of roman symbols as i said there are seven symbols correspond to some indo arabic numbers the first thing if you notice if if you compare with the indo arabic in the roman there is no symbols for zero second there is no place value in this system jaise ki humne dekha ki 100 tenth place then you can say ones place indo arabic mein humne dekha hua hai but yahan pe it is not like that Now to understand this Roman numerals, first we have to understand some basic rules. So let's understand rule number one. It states that repetition of any Roman numerals, it means it is addition. मतलब, for example, suppose this is I I, so it's a repetition. i we know ki i represent 1 that means 
when there is i i it means there is an addition between one and one so it is a basically one plus one so that means it is two suppose it is a i i and i three times so it means it's additions repetitions so it is one plus one plus one plus one equals to three let's understand with one more example suppose there is a xx so it's a repetition that means addition between these two x numbers whatever the value of the x and we know the value of the x is 10 that means it's an addition of 10 plus 10 equals to 20 same way suppose it is x x and x it's a three times so that means it's a additions between 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals to 30. So that's what rule number one says. Remember few things in rule number one. Number one, only I, X, C and M can be repeated. You can write I, I or maybe X, X, X or maybe C, C, C or maybe M, M. You cannot repeat V, L and D. It is used only once. Because if you write V, V, that means 5 plus 5. So already it is equals to 10. There is a number. X is available. Same way if you write D, D, that means 500 plus 500 equals to 1000. So already symbols M is available. So that means D, L and V cannot be repeated. Also the repetitions of any symbol cannot be more than three times in succession that means if i am writing i i i i four times it is wrong if i am writing c c c c four times it is wrong there is a different way to write this four times c means 40 40 can be right with some different way not four times c let's understand rule number two it states smaller the numeral if smaller numeral written after a larger numeral it means additions remember smaller two numeral i to m i is a smaller one v is a larger one x is a further larger like that the highest larger one is the m for example, V i, we know the value of V is 5 and i as 1. That means i which is a smaller numeral which is written after a larger that is V numeral means there is an addition between these two numbers. That is addition of V plus i that means 5 plus 1 equals to 6. Same way if it is V I I. So the smaller numeral I is written after the larger numeral means there is additions between V and I. And the second I is a repetition. So as per the rule number one, one second we have to add. So when it is V I I, it means 5 plus 1 further 1 equals to 7. Same way if it is a V I I I three times, then rule number one, five plus one, rule number two, five plus one, then rule number one plus one, further rule number one, there is a plus one. So it is a five plus one plus one plus one equals to eight. Let's understand little complex number with this rule for example it is xi so i equals to 1 and x equals to 10 so smaller one is written after the larger one means there's a additions between these two so that is 10 plus 1 equals to 11 same way xii so i second i which is a smaller one written after the larger one that is x 
So there is an addition between x plus i that is 10 plus 1 plus second i is repeat. So as per the rule number 1 it is further addition of 1. So the equation becomes or you can say value becomes 10 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 12. If I write x and v, we know the value of v is 5. So v which is a smaller numeral written after the larger x, that means there is an addition between these two that is 10 plus 5 equals to 15. Let's understand few more examples. Suppose it is Alex where L is 50 and X is 10. So 10 is written. X is written, which is a smaller one, written after the larger one, that is L. So that means there is an addition between 50 plus 10 equals to 60. Same way, if it is MCX, we know M equals to 1000 and C equals to 100. So first two digit M and C, C is a smaller, 100 is a smaller than the M which is 1000, it's a larger one. So that means there is an addition between M plus C, 1000 plus 100. The third digit is X which is once again smaller than the C. So there is a further addition of 10. So the equations looks like this, 1000 plus 100 plus 10 equals to the value will be 1110, 1110. So that's what the rule number 2. Let's understand rule number 3. What it states? It's a little bit opposite the rule number 2. What it states? Smaller numeral written if it is before the larger numeral. Then there is a sub subtraction. Earlier if it is after then additions. Here rule number 3 if it is before smaller numeral written before a larger numeral means there is a subtraction. For example, IV. We know the value of I, it is 1 and V as a 5. So I which is a smaller one written before the larger one that is V means there is a subtraction between these two. That means subtractions will be between 5 minus 1 equals to 4. Same way agar if it is written ix then what is the value of x? Yes it's 10. So i which is a smaller one written before the larger one 10 x that means there is a subtraction between these two. So 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 is 9. Let's take little bit few more example with the rule number 3 xl we know the value of x is 10 and value of l is 50 x which is a smaller numeral which is written before the larger one that means there is a subtraction between these two so it is 50 minus 10 which is equals to 40 same way if it is written xc, x is 10 and c is 100. So smaller written before the larger means subtraction between these two. So 100 minus 10 equals to 90. So that's about rule number 3. But few things we have to remember for rule number 3. First, v, l and d are never subtracted. That means suppose I am writing Vx which is equivalent to 10 minus 5. That means it is a 5 which is equivalent to V. So we cannot write like this. So Vld cannot be subtracted. Same way for example 45. <coughs> 45 is equals to 50 minus 5. I can write like that also. 50 minus 5. For 50, it is L. And I have to subtract 
phi that means v i will put before so 50 minus phi equal to vl but that is also wrong reason v cannot be subtracted so if you are writing 45 equals to vl it is wrong there is a another way we will see in the next slides remember that vld never subtracted for any symbols same way i can be subtracted from v and x only you cannot subtract i from l or c for example suppose you want to write down the 99 so 99 is nothing but 100 minus 1 100 is c that is equivalence to c and if i want to subtract 1 so i have to put 1 before the c so i can write ic which is a wrong method because i cannot be subtracted from lcdm i can be subtracted only and only from v and x remember this same way suppose if you want to write down 49 you cannot write il there is another method we will see third thing remember same way x can be subtracted from l and c only not from d or m for example 490 now suppose 490 if i write equals to 500 minus 10 and 500 is nothing but d and if i want to subtract i will put smaller before and 10 is x so if i write xd it is wrong reason x cannot be subtracted from d and m it can be subtracted from l and c only that's the rule that's the rule number three let's understand rule number four what it states smaller numeral written between two large numerals then smaller numeral is always subtracted from large numeral immediately following it for example let's understand x i v here i is the smaller number written between two large number that means smaller number will be subtracted from large number immediately following it that means i will be subtracted from v let's find out we know i is equal to 1 v is equal to 5 and x is equal to 10 so in this case first if i talk about the highest one x so that is 10 then if it is a smaller then we have to add as per the rule number 2 but after that there is further larger so rule number 2 will not be applied so rule number 4 what it states when there is a smaller number between two larger number then this smaller number will be subtracted from the immediate following larger numeral so that means this equation becomes 10 plus 5 minus 1 equals to 14 let's understand with one more example that is x i x so here there are two larger number and one smaller number that is i it is between these two larger numbers so i will be subtracted from this number that is x so the equations value becomes 10 plus 10 minus 1 that is 9 so 10 plus 9 19 
so friends you have to remember this four rules and subsequent to their implement implementations now let's do some exercise <clears throat> first let's convert indo arabic numbers to roman numerals so 24 write in roman numerals so whenever we want to write the convert this indo arabic numbers to roman first write the number in expanded form then convert expanded form means 100 plus 10 plus 1 yeah 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1 here there is 24 so expanded form of this 24 is 20 plus 4 now 20 plus 4 means for 20 it is 10 plus 10 that means xx and 4 is nothing but 5 minus 1. We cannot write i 4 times as per the rule. So that means 4 will be 5 minus 1. So this form will be written like this 10 plus 10 plus 5 minus 1. And for 10 it is x. Then there is a x. Another 10. So additions 10 plus 10 20 plus 5 for phi it is v and for 1 it is i but if i write like this then it becomes rule number 2 summation between these two phi plus 1 so it becomes 6 but here we want to do subtractions between phi and 1 that's why this i will go before and looks like this x x i v Let's understand one more. Let's say it's a 67. Write down in Roman numeral. So as I said first, write the number in the expanded form to the max possible. Then convert to Roman. So 67 becomes 60 plus 7. And this 60 will be written as in the Roman symbols value that is 50 plus 10. And 7 will be 5 plus 1 plus 1. And for 50, we have a symbol that is L. For 10, it is X. For 5, it is V. For 1, it is addition. So, VI. And another one, another I. Let's understand one more. 994. That is 994. So first of all, let's write the number in the expanded form. Expanded form of 994 is 900 plus 90 plus 4. Now this 900, if I want to write, then for 900 we have a symbol 1000, that is 1000 minus 100, that is 900. Then for 90, 100 minus 10 and for 4 it is 5 minus 1 so we can write this like this now for 1000 minus 100 it means when there is a subtractions smaller numeral will come before the larger one smaller one here c and 1000 it is m so the the value of this becomes cm then there's an addition so definitely smaller than this but once again there is a 100 minus 10 so that means subtractions so x will be before 100 that is c so xc then there is a once again additions so between 5 minus 1 so here there is a subtractions between 5 and 1 for 5 it is v and 1 i 
and when there is subtractions smaller will come to come before the larger one so it looks like iv now let's take one more which is little bit difficult 3 4 double 0 so first write the number in the maximum expanded form that is 3000 plus 400 now 3000 can be written as 3 times 1000 that is 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 and 400 can be written as 500 minus 100 we cannot write 4 times 100 because 4 times C cannot be repeated. So 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 that means M plus M plus M and 500 minus 100 that means there is a subtraction. So this 100 that is C will come before the 500 that is D. So it's a CD. So this is how you can write the Roman numeral from Indo-Arabic. Now let's understand how to read Roman numerals in our Indo-Arabic system. For example, suppose it is written LXXVI. And if I want to convert this Roman numeral in the into Arabic number, first and foremost is start with the highest Roman symbol first and solve it. Then next highest Roman number. So in this one, the highest one is L. So start with L. Then L is equals to, we know it's a 50. Then there is a X. X is a smaller than L. That means as per the rule number 2, here there is an addition between L plus X and X is nothing but 10. Then there is a third X which is equivalent to the second digit. So that means it's a repetition. So as per the rule number 1, repetition means addition between these two and X is 10. Then there is a V which is a smaller one. So in the smaller one, when V is smaller than X, as per the rule number 2, there is a addition and value of the V is 5 and then there is a I which is equivalent to which is smaller than V. So addition and value of the I is 1. So the value of this Roman number LXXVI is equals to 50 plus 10 plus 10, 70 plus 5, 75 plus 1, 76. Let's understand one more. XCIX. <clears throat> so as I said, start with the highest Roman symbol first. So this is the highest Roman symbol, C. Now from, if we talk about C, agar C ko dekhenge, to iske aage, there is a X, which is a smaller one than the C. So as here, as per the rule number 3, X, which is equal to 10, will be deducted from C, that is 100. So that means it is 100 minus 10. Then for the balance part, that is I and X, which is the highest Roman symbol, so that is X. Now in X, there is I. Before X, there is I. So here you can see the smaller numeral is before larger one that means there is a subtraction as per the rule number three as well as if you see the rule number four if this smaller numeral is between two larger numerals then smaller numeral will be deducted from this so that means plus 
10 minus 1. So it means 100 minus 10, 90 plus 10 minus 1 is 9. So it is a 99. Let's understand one more. C, M, X, C. So start with the highest Roman symbol. In this highest one is M. So M equals to 1000 and smaller is before. So that means as per rule number 3, there is a subtraction between these two, 1000 minus 100. Then the balance one, X and C. So there is an addition. The next is highest is C. So after C, if you talk about C, that is equals to 100, there is an X also, which is a smaller one. So that means as per rule number 3 and the 4, X will be deducted from C, that is 100 minus 10, which is equivalent to 990. Here if you do first 1000 minus 100 plus 10 plus 100, you can't do that. Remember when to solve this, you know, Roman to Indo Arabic the rule says first you have to catch highest solid and then go to the next highest one. So CM first you have solved this, then you have to go to the next highest one that is C. And for this C, which is the largest one, there is a X, which is a smaller one before. So that's why there is a subtraction between these two, 100 minus 10. And hence the answer is 990. So with this hope, after Roman number, Roman numerals, you, uh, it's a very clear. You can understand the symbols. Remember the basic seven symbols. Which one is a larger and which one is a smaller. Hope you understood the different four rules and its related important notes. And you are able to write down, convert the Indo-Arabic numbers to Roman number as well as you can convert that Roman number to Indo-Arabic. So that is about this video. In next video, we will discuss about addition and subtractions in the Roman numerals. Apart from that, we will discuss about vinculum or you can say vergula, how to write the larger Roman numbers. So that's about this video. Thank you very much. Once again, myself Bhavesh Patel. You can reach us at the email Vithalam Academy, V I W T H A L M A C A D E M Y at the rate gmail.com. Thank you and all the best.